Nothing useful, but I at least unlocked that map square, so now... Yeah. It does nothing for me, but at least it's completed. <laughs> I might have fucked myself over on that one. I did. Alright, leave me alone, divils. Divil. Come along, boys. I want to get up there, but I don't know how. So what I need to do is get that down here some... Where? Yeah, I need to get this operational so it goes up there. Let me go up there! Oh! Okay. Mount Whirl. Oh, 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 I, I know about this one. Hi, buddy. Hello, puppers. His existence was spoiled for me, but that's okay because I love him. His name is Barkley. Yeah, he's a party member. He's a full fledged party member and he's a puppy. Twenty-two digit phone number. Yeesh. He is. <laughs> Barkley's looking up the cliff and whining. He may want to go up. He won't move from the spot. Perhaps if you had some way to take him up the cliff. I can't help you yet, my sweet, sweet boy. I need another traversal ability, unfortunately. I'm getting closer, though. I promise. Sweet, sweet boy. Soon. Soon, my fluffy child. No. Move, Meredith. I don't want to drown. Today or any day. Drowning is terrifying and an awful way to go. I do not recommend it. Like, of all the ways to go, I can honestly say that drowning is terrifying. I wonder, if you were to find a way back home, or real homes, would all of this time have passed there? Or would we end up back in the moment we left, like all this had happened in the blink of an eye? That is a terrifying thought. Like, how do you explain that at that point? But then there are also people that have spent decades here in New World. How do you explain the psychological discrepancies between, ah yes, I've been here since I was five. I have the mind of an adult. However, my body is still that of a six-year-old. That would be bloody exhausting. I'd like to go through this, please. Leave me alone, twirly gig. Stop following me, little shit. No! Rude. That's a lie. You were a domino sprite in the overworld. Why are you two wing glooms? Fuck you. Marshes. You're new. Hello. Hello, friend. I would like a Yorman gold. But I do also have a masquerade and a current viper waiting to be used for you. So instead, you're just going to get spat upon and smacked in the face. Ha 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 ha. Damn you, Jellyton. How dare you have a strategic mind defending your ally. You utter bastard. But either way, I'm gonna hit you in the face. 
Nyaha. Why do you get to roll for more than three? I never get two. Ooh. That was less than good. You're level 42. Oh no. I... I might be in a dangerous area here. Um, I don't have any poison based. Um, we're just gonna go for a chrome tape. Because I'm afraid. A chrome tape and a double smack. Let's hope and pray. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Pick up some life. Come here, friend. Rude. Very rude. Extremely rude. How very dare! Jellytons form where unlucky pondeds fall into swamp water and can't get out. Over time, their bodies break down and reform as beings mostly comprised of a smooth, toxic slime. Supposedly, this slime makes for a great fertilizer. That is interesting and fucking terrifying. Ugh. Smack, acid reflux, and liquid body. View stickers. Prevents the user from being inflicted with burn, but makes all incoming ice and lightning attack. Ha! I very much might need to remove that if I ever actually put you in my party. That's a dangerous ability. I don't like that. Now, this was spoiled. I, I looked up at rough general points when you can get the full party members um, just to get an idea as to how easily one would be able to max out the like relationship bars on all of them and if it's feasible to even try to do that for all of the party members before the end of the game. Um, and I do know that that is telling you that there is a farm coming up and you need to use the skelly jelly on one of them to get a very specific uh, entity and we're, ooh, I can't open this yet yes not quite a stardew farming sim but oh no oh Okay. I'm okay with that. That just opened a door. I thought that was about to flood the entire area. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I don't necessarily want to be part and parcel to full environmental and ecological collapse. That is not my idea of a fun time. Yes? Sure. Ah. Have you noticed how Harbour Town provides for everyone, no matter what they bring to the community? I mean, the locals still have their own problems, sure, but no one's cast out. Everyone kind of contributes what they can, and if you can't, no worries, mate. It's kind of a lonely society, sure, but it's not a cruel one. I can't, uh, can't exactly say the same for where I'm from. But yes, you're... You're a punk from London, no shit. Why do you have... Oh. Great. <laughs> oh, typical. There's always something they're trying to kill us, isn't there? Oh, yeah, it's a Jampachi. Oh, hello! This country shows no kindness, strangers. Oh. Come. Let's match these beasts in number. I get a party of three? I do! Jesus! So this is another future party member. Her name is Viola. And I'm excited. I'm gonna fuse. Artiller 5. 
Catrax. What am I gonna be called this time? Artil 5. It's dance. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> You're too weak. You can't throw up a poison wall. Ooh, okay. I I think I might have overkilled this fight a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, Meteor Barrage. Hits each member of a team multiple times. Nice. And Squire, we got Quick Attack. <sighs> you do well to leave before those fiends return. You surely have no reason to remain in such a place as this. Nice hat. Who are you anyway? I am Viola of Messini. I am Viola of Messini. I'm no fighter, but this land has thrust such a role upon me. I do not wish to trouble you with my burdens. What is your quest? <sighs> my brother and I were both cast to the seas. If I have not drowned, perhaps he too came to rest upon these shores. I have been searching for some weeks now. A kind soul gifted me this curious device with which I may protect myself. If you hear of my brother Sebastian, my camp is just east from here. Fare thee well. All right, so we have a delightfully anachronistic woman here, Crossfade. Ooh, that is cool. So basically, I it it's a pivot move like in Pokemon, where it'll automatically swap you to a different uh, creature, but you can pull. Like, say you're up against something that has high physical defense, but you know you have a ranged attacker of its weakness, you can pull... That is fascinating. I don't know how I would use that effectively. But there is part of me that would very much like to try. Leave me alone, Jenny boy. <laughs> I do like the electromagnetism. Electromagnet it's very useful. Box. Woodcutter. Uh, hits one target multiple times. Hello. 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 It's nice to. It's nice for you to visit us out here. Are well, you staying for a while or just passing through? I mean, I don't know. I just got here. I'm just exploring. However, this is... Ooh. Meredith, that was rude. Now, what I need... What are you? Hello? Cluckabilly? Well, thank you very much. Alright, we're going to switch our Tiller X. Uh, for, let's see here. Now we're going to go Squirey. And you. Ooh, if used after charge. So, we're not going to use, we're going to smack next turn. Sorry, we're going to smack this turn. We're going to charge next and then we're going to use battery on someone else. Good. Don't you, you bastard. Now 
you're going to charge. really having that kill it. Don't you dare. Bastard. <laughs> that is a very dangerous combo and I love it. <laughs> right, you're gonna go in with a quick smack. And you're gonna go in with a zoomies. We're gonna take you out before you get a chance to regroup. Exactly! Wait, I forgot to record it. Fuck. Yes, yes, you got a new leaf. Fuck you. I'm an idiot. No. Hello. I'm an idiot. Ah, you're an old man. Hello, friend. Have you come to sort out our jelly problem? Well, that bridge just over there connects us here on the farm to Harper Town. We provide most of the fresh produce that the town consumes. Unfortunately, the local jelly creatures have gotten a bit rowdy as of late and have, um, gummed up the bridge. It's no bother, though. Why, I'm sure they'll clear off eventually. Feel free to rest here in the meantime. Well, that depends. Will you actually allow me to use your bed? No, you won't. You lied to me. You lied to me, Edward. It's cute pumpkin. Inventory? No. I need a specific amount of bloody jelly to use it. Hello! Hello! Must be nice of visitors here. Are you staying for a while or just passing through? I think I might need a specific amount to actually do this. No, never more. I don't want to fight you. Well, that was unintentional. I'm about to drown. Hello, lost boy! Oh, thank God. Which friend has angered you, and for what reason? Do I have a kiss fan up here that I'm about to fight? Uh, it's called a riverbank, you dumbass. Hi, Parker. Hi. Sorry, one second, everyone.
Thank you, dears. Um, but yes, uh, as I was explaining, um, I live with with uh, my sister and her family for for various reasons. Um, and my nephew just popped up the the stairs past the baby gates unaided and unaccompanied, so I needed to go um, address that. Uh, and question, lost boy. Uh, what make and model for the for the Toyota Supra? Because that is a very pretty car, though I am sorry you've been dethroned. But I'm curious. I want to use this, but I will wait for a slightly more advantageous moment. And just beat the shit out of a spring hill. Well, you get what you get. Maybe I'll at least find a revenue stream. Oh, that was the landkeeper. Looking at the model from the side, I thought it was just a KISS fan. I guess I'm just an idiot in that in that regard. Right, come along now. Oh wait, I'm back at town. Oh no. <laughs> I have to go all the way around. Uh, okay. Oh, hello, Viola. Thankfully, I at least opened a couple of gateways. So now it's just annoying, not completely detrimental. I was really hoping I'd have enough to do that this round. Um, well, let's... A six wall? Oh, you bastards. Um, no. Double smack. That's rude. <laughs> well, good to hear that, my friend. I'm happy to hear you've not been completely dethroned. Um, so I'm happy to hear that apparently you have a slightly more uh, difficult time of it. Just want to see the new ability. Which is all well and good for a protracted race on flat ground in a flat line. What's the acceleration speeds for both of you? That is where the true test of racing lies on a winding track. Media barrage. I want to see the new thing. Right, you're going to come in with the zoomies and just try... Actually, no. You're going to hit the double smack because I'd like to break down that wall as much as possible. There we go. 2020 Supra. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I got my screen nuke. Yee. <laughs> I'm going to 
take a nap. Ah, I think something just crawled on my foot. You're outside, dear. That's sort of to be expected. You didn't. And we've camped several times. I'm surprised it's taken this long. Oh yeah, never, never mind. You beat the pants off of him. Still. Enough that it comes down to, like, if you make a significant human error mistake, he might beat you. Um... But the cards are still very much stacked in your favor, sir. I'm just going to pretend it was a striped blade of grass and not really think about it. Yeah, uh... <laughs> so I do know that there is a romance mechanic in this game. And I think Meredith might have just beaten out Kaylee. Hey! Hey! Get out of my way! I want to be Sybil's interviewee today! I don't care. I just want to beat Sybil's pants. Why do you, Why do you have a sirenade? Why can I never find a sirenade? That's not fair. Meanies. <laughs> I would definitely well that was a waste of a turn uh. okay I mean I'll take it but still I got more scaly jelly fine good Fantastic uh, even. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow instead. Yeah. No, leave me alone. Oh, that. Nope. Oh, <gasps> there are pundits up here. Finally, I've been trying to find you for ages. I'm honestly surprised I was able to match that with a nine. Check one around here. Oh! All right, we're gonna catch the cluckability this time. We're gonna focus down on the Nevermort. than he does. Oh yeah, no, never mind. You've got that fully in hand, my friend. No! You killed my T-Rex! Oh my god, my Squirey is so small compared to them. Gonna hit him with a slice, and you're just gonna hit the never mortar in the face with a smack. All right, now I can record you with no fear. 
I have several aerosol tapes, so I'm just gonna use you. Energy shot. Aha! Get in my tape, you clucky bitch. Yeah, you're darn right, it's a hundred percent. Yay! I got a chicken. Clucky Billies are defined by their antisocial attitudes. The severity of their angry clucks is so great that they can create small shock waves. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh shit, yeah. That's a surprisingly well-rounded chicken. Slightly dipping on defense, but raising smartly in all of the attack stats. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, game. Was I just waiting for this fight? I was. Hello, Mega Jelly. I don't have a fusion yet. Shit. Um, elemental wall? And firewall. I'd like to see. Ha! Ah. Ah, so you have a heart attack mobile. Sorry, I'm someone that startles easily with uh, loud noises. Come on, Mayor. Our hearts blacked. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it has a little, little uh, engineer's hat. <laughs> myself real well. <laughs> well, thanks, Kirtini. I'm surprised I'm not completely peeked out the microphone. <laughs> Alright, it has been charged. That means I can come with the battery. Real good. Come on, boys. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Just the wrong time to take a drink. Are you okay? <coughs> 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 That's good at least. Owie. <coughs> Let's go with the metal riff. <laughs> I'm fine. I just wrote that or read that at the wrong time because I took a swig of my drink. And uh, it very much became well known to the wrong pipes. <coughs> <coughs> well, I just killed them in a very tenacious D kind of fashion with a very, very righteous power chord. From the best song in the world. <coughs> Not killed, just slightly maimed. Thank you, friends. I was beginning to worry about that whole situation. We used scary jelly to fertilize our plants. I suppose I might have built up in the soil and formed that creature. 
Say, if you want to try using the jelly to make some crops grow, be our guest. Bumpkin. Jumpkin. He's doing a little dance. But yes, by all means, um, if you're comfortable sharing what happened, by all means, don't incriminate yourself in any way. But I am curious. tree bark tape because I don't have to do this again Recording. only a 37 fuck Ooh. were you driving recklessly sir Pumpkin! Yay! Sorry, a jumpkin. Jumpkins are created when the jelly from a gelatin is smeared on the regular pumpkin, giving it sentience. The jumpkin is a curious and friendly being that seems to never stop moving. Yes. Found on the Piper's farm. I got smack and pumpkin pie. Ooh. That's useful. I also love it that this is, so I don't normally play the intro of starting up this game, but the logo for Byton Studios is a big uh, orange pumpkin, so that, like, creating an adorable, adorable little monster, and, ooh, L1. Ooh! I can go get the dog. I'm gonna rest up and go get the dog. Snake. I want my puppy. That's a lot of wheat. Jesus Christ. What the? I know. Oh, that's a load of bullshit. Right, so I need to hit an L1. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a load of bullshit. Like, by all meat, like... There's an area near where I live where the speed limit is only marked on one side of the road so realistically anyone driving on the opposite side has no idea what the speed limit is for that specific stretch of road and yeah no like that shouldn't things irregular markings should not be the fault of the driver can i rest here as well Ah, oh, the fire actually pushes me out of it. Okay. I don't climb a wall fast. Noted. I don't want to fight a jellyton. At least not another one. Go away. 
<laughs> I haven't given too much power. Nowhere would keep me out at this point. Now, where was that campfire? I can just keep going. Oh, damn it. All right. I'm coming, Barkley. Charge magnets activated. Yeah, I know that. I just don't really care. Ow. All right, I cannot use that whilst I'm in the water. Noted. There we go. <laughs> you know what? I can at least appreciate cops that are like, hey, I need to stop you because I have to, not because it. I really have to. I just skipped through a dialogue. No, what did I miss? Shit. I'm going to have to go back through the VOD because I'm curious. Motherfucker. Let me get to know my god or my thick punk waifu. Damn it. <laughs> 